On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonatus to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. This episode of On Drop Rate is going to be a bit special and different to the rest. We're going for a bunch of different small challenges in the Slayer catalog. The first one being Brine Rats and the item we're going for is the Brine Saber. Before we get into the video, on the last episode we had a 52.2 million giveaway and we had 1,809 entries. So let's roll the winner. Let's see who is going to be the winner of the 52 million GP. Jeremy Hester. Sorry that you didn't get the pet, but congrats on the grind being over. Or Darkscape. Darkscape, that is a throwback. And here is me giving the 52.2 million GP to our Darkscape. Very nice outfit you have there as well, and a nice pet. Brine Rats are actually located in a pretty weird area. It is during the Olaf quest, which is northeast of the Releka area. You use a spade, you dig by the tree, and you're going to be transported into a dungeon, which has the Brine Rats right over here. And the item we're going for, the Brine Saber, is on the collection log and I have not got it so far, so if we do manage to get it within these 512 kills, that is going to be a nice unlock. For obvious reasons, there's not too much to talk about when it comes to these creatures, except that you do need 47 Slayer to kill them and access to the cave through the Olaf's quest. Also, the area you can kill them in is not actually multi, so even though I can use a cannon, it won't shoot any other rats if I'm in combat with one already. So safe spotting them to enable the cannon to shoot all of them is actually the best way of killing them. However, if you're like me and you just like AFKing it, you can just stand by your cannon and reload it easily whenever you want to. And just let the cannon tag them for you so you don't have to do it manually and just kill one by one. And then we have the first one. I actually forgot to mention, but these can actually drop medium clue scrolls, which of course we're going to be doing all of them. I need new inventory slots, but it's one in 128 to see one of them from these. So if I go on drop rate, we should see like three or four of them. After this brine rat right here, we're halfway to... No way! I was about to say we're halfway done. We got the brine saber exactly on the halfway point. So look at the screen right now. There it is. 256 kill counts. We got the Brine Saber, we won the challenge. Let's have a look at that. Actually a really cool looking weapon. I think it's just slightly better than the Rune Scimitar, not by much, but uh, it is definitely cooler than the Rune Scimitar. And there it is as well on the collection log, but uh, from this grind we actually did get two medium clue scrolls, so we're going to head to a bank and open them. You know, there is of course always a chance of getting the 30 million worth of ranger boots in this, and collection log items are always welcome. So let's open the first one and see what we get. That is very bad. Probably one of the worst mediums you can get. Not even purple sweets or anything worth of value. Second one is one unique, but I already had it. 45k as well. So with that challenge one and out of the way, we're going for the second grind of the video, which is going to be Dark Beasts. And the item we're going to go for is the Dark Bow. Now on the collection log, I do not have the Dark Bow either. So that would be another pop-up for the collection log if we do manage to get it. And I'm going to be killing them in the Iowerth dungeon where they do have the additional drop of the Crystal Shards, 1 in 24. So if we actually go on drop rate, we should see a decent amount of them, like 20 plus, which is not a bad bonus to get. When it comes to clue scrolls, they do also drop hard clue scrolls, which is one in 128. So the same drop rate, but with hard clue scrolls this time so as the brine rat with mediums. So we should see some of them as well. Now, when it comes to killing the dark beast, they are weak to stab. And I'm going to be using a cannon in a single area again for the same reason of just tagging them basically so I can AFK a bit more. And I'm not 100% sure on the setup that I'm using right now, but I'm going to change it up if I do have to. And there it is, the first crystal shard of the grind. I'm probably just going to actually keep all of them. I'm not going to make them into potions or anything like that and sell them for money. I'm just going to keep them for charges for like my crystal gear and all that. What? No way! What? 
Are you kidding me, dude? Why is that even not tagged? Okay, there we go. That is the beam. Uh, the loot is on the screen right now. 47 KC, absolutely spooned. Let's equip it and have a look at it. I never really used this bow. I'm actually kind of disappointed it's never really useful in PVM, but uh, it looks great. And that, of course, ladies and gentlemen, is another spot completed in the Slayer collection log. Now, the third grind of the video is not probably going to be as fast as the other two. Of course, we can always get lucky, but it is going to be Basilisk Knights. We're going to be killing 1,000 of these for the Basilisk Head. We're going to be killing these off Slayer tasks, so the Basilisk Jaw is going to be 1 in 5,000. But with the luck we're getting this video, we might as well get it. And just like all the other items in this video, we do not have the Basilisk Head on the collection log. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've actually never killed a single Basilisk Knight in my entire life. So doing this is going to be a bit of an experiment. I might change over to ranged gear, I might stay with this melee gear. I guess we'll just see what happens. Oh my god, this attack animation is wild. Is this actually supposed to look like this, or is this bugged? <laughs> what the hell? I might actually think about swapping out my Blood Amulet of Fury. I thought I would be taking a lot more damage than I am, so I might actually bring a Torture instead and bring maybe a bit more Prey Potions than food. I guess we'll just try a couple of things out. You know, I actually looked up the prices of Blood Shards and they have gone down a lot. I thought they were like 10 million, but I guess TOA hype has gone down a bit, so they have also gone down in price. And I do enjoy the AFK, and actually with Blood Shards, I don't need any food at all. So I think the move is literally just to recharge this even more, the Blood Amulet of Fury, and get all those charges in. Now at 14.6k should be enough, maybe I have to buy another one, and I can basically just bring Prey Potions. Hey, there it is, the Mystic Hat Lights. It took so long into my account to actually unlock this on the collection log, let's pick it up. And let's actually go and check the collection log, I want to see overall actually how my Mystic items are looking. So let's go over to other Slayer tab, scroll down a bit, and look at that, 28 of the other ones, 29 of the bottom, and 1 of the hat. So we just hit a quarter of the kill count that I'm going for, 250, and as you can see, the loot is not incredibly good, 959k for all that, and no hard clue scrolls yet, but I do have to say the Blood Amulet of Fury definitely was the way to go. All right, uh, they can drop long bones. I actually forgot about that. That is, I think, 1 in 400 normally for the long bone, the curved bone is the 1 in 5000 usually, but nice. And a second long bone, some free construction experience. Oh, there it is, the basilisk head. We are actually not even halfway to the kill count of it. The loot is on the screen right now. The challenge is complete. I think 455 KC. And the money, as I said, was not great, but uh, the collection log slot is beautiful. You know, actually looking at the Slayer log again and having the Basilisk head unlocked, I only miss two of the heads to actually complete all of them, so I might actually just as well go for that. So we're going to go for the Cockatrice head next. Now the drop rate of the Cockatrice head is 1 in 1000, just like the Basilisk head, but the monsters themselves are way weaker than the Basilisk knights, so I will be able to kill those 1000 a lot quicker. But there are actually two other interesting items that I can get from the Cockatrices that is not the Cockatrice head, and that is the Mystic Boots Light, which is 1 in 512, pretty much half the drop rate of the head, and I do not have this on the collection log, so getting it is just a bonus. The second thing is a Medium Clue Scroll, which is 1 in 128 drop rate. You know, I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty unsure if this is the gear I should be using for this, but just throwing Amethyst Darts with a V-Shield equipped is the best I could think of, because I can't use Blowpipe, I can't use any two-handed weapons because you do need the v-shield equipped because otherwise these minions will drain your stats like crazy and oh by the way if i do lose this challenge even though the loot from this entire 1000 kills might only be like 50k even 100k then i will still give away a minimum of 10 million gp so even if i do really small grinds with basically no monetary value i will still give away at least 10 million gp if i do not win the challenge Okay, okay, that did not take long at all. First medium clue scroll of the grind, very early into it. Yes, there they are, Mystic Boots, Light. If you look on the screen right now, you can see that I was almost exactly on the drop rate for that. It, they are 1 in 512, so very nice to have those. And we are continuing to unlock more Mystic items on the collection log, Light 1 specific. I only missed the gloves now.
I was actually starting to worry about this one. We are now 708 kills in. We only had like 290 something kills left to go. And there it is. We won this challenge as well. I got the collection log item. And as you can see in my inventory, I actually managed to get 8 mediums, which was really lucky. But let's actually go ahead and open the 8 clue scrolls that we got from that. I currently have 43 out of 115 on the collection log for the medium clues. So let's go ahead and see what we can get from these. First one, 6k, 13k, no unique yet, 4k, it's not looking great so far. Ooh, a unique green dehyde body. It's not worth a lot, but uh, always nice to see uniques. And another unique, so we got two so far, nothing that one, 3k, and the last one is going to be also pretty bad. So that was not the best opening, but uh, we did get two uniques. But let's go ahead and go over to the last creature. For this one, I do not need a mirror shield or the V shield, but uh, I can use the blowpipe here. And this is the crawling hands, of course. It's a 1 in 500 drop rate. There's no really interesting drops at all from this, except for the crawling hand. So let's just get into it and see if we can manage to get it or not. So this is definitely the easiest monster I've killed so far. And they are kind of packed densely as well, so it's not going to be that much running between them. And it is only 1 in 500 drop rates, unlike the other 1 in 1000. So this should be the fastest grind of the video. What? <laughs> okay, this is just the episode of getting absolutely spooned, I suppose. Crawling hand completed! And this is how many I killed. Uh, 30. I killed 30 crawling hands, and uh, that is another challenge completed. Because I had so many challenges planned for this video, I honestly expected to lose at least one of them, but uh, I guess we actually got really lucky this episode, and we actually got a lot of collection log slots completed because of it. But that is the last challenge of this video, but before we end it, I want to give a massive shout out to you guys. My goal was to hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and you guys absolutely smashed it. We're already over it. We're at like 30,100 subscribers now, and we have a lot of time left of the year. So uh, thank you to all of you guys watching this series, supporting me in doing what I love to do. And thank you for watching this video specifically. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Take care.